How's it going? It's Tim. I'm a commercial video maker and photographer in the UK. My friend Paddy just dropped by and said, can I photograph his new gin bottles? Pretty, pretty cool. I was like, yeah, of course I can. I thought, do you know what? I'll take you guys behind the scenes with me for a bit of a tutorial on how to photograph a bottle. So uh, let's get the studio set up. So first up, we've got our backing paper. Now basically what I've done here is created like a, a, a mini infinity wall. So it's just a roll of white paper. You can get it from like craft shops, you can get it from Amazon, whatever. Um, and I've got a couple of metal frames at the back there I just like to use to hang this off of. Um, they're sort of small, unobtrusive. I think they're actually hanging rails from Ikea. And then the orange caps at the top, and you can't have enough of those things. If you've not got any, get on Amazon, order a couple. There'll be a link in the description down below. Um, they're super, super helpful. So with our backing paper in place, uh, let's get some lights down. Awesome, got a light at the side, got our infinity curve at the back. So we'll grab a bottle of uh, gin and uh, pop the lights off and see what we've got. So let's go to dark mode, I guess. Okay, cool. So we have three bottles of gin. I've taken the middle one, like the, not the lightest or the darkest. Hopefully any settings for this will work well enough for the other two as well. So I'm gonna pop this down get the lighting set up, maybe add some shadows, and then we can uh, take some pictures. Okay, so our lights are set up in such a way that it lights from the sides, and they're a little bit forward uh, of the bottle, so it wraps around a bit as well, creating like a nice 3D feel. Now the camera setting to this one, it's running at F11. I wanna make sure I get a really nice uh, deep depth of field on this. I don't want blurry edges, it will be sharp all the way through. To get like nicely defined outline around the bottle. So let's take a test shot and see what we've got. This one's a little bit overexposed. Um, I like it to be balanced and pretty much exactly the same on both sides of this bottle. We're going to be nice and symmetrical. So let's uh, tweak the lights and give it another go. That's a way better exposure. I'm happy with that. But the reflective logo on these bottles is going a bit dark in the middle. So let's fix that with the reflector. Uh, I think if you zoom in there, we've got the the logo before and see that dark bit there as you change it oh look at that this shot's looking great and it'd be completely usable as it is but we can make it a bit better by adding some shadows either side for some definition grab a couple of these black flags they stand up either side of the bottle and create shadow so let's give it a go before and after and see the level of the, the black lines we've added in there and the dark lines at the side so a little bit more shape. That's really cool. It's really coming together, but I forgot to put the reflector back in to make the logo pop at the front. Let's just quickly fix that. There you go, makes that pop nicely. Perfect, right. We've got our shadows, we've got our light wrapping round, we've got a reflector at the front, making the logo pop. Let's bung it into Photoshop and uh, see what we've got. First up, we've got the photo with the gray card. Um, purpose of this being here is that we can go for our white balance custom grab the picker and boom and then let's just start with going to the three dots here and choosing previous conversion and that's our white balance corrected now while we're here we can make sure we're happy with everything else so highlights we don't have everything burnt out let's so make sure we've got a nice clean shot there and our shadows, we don't want anything completely burnt out in the shadows, but replicating the color of the bottle quite nicely there. Um, a little bit of vibrance to give us some nice color. Maybe pop back a tiny bit, kick it with the saturation. Um, our whites, the play of the whites, I think. Hang it nice about, about there. And our blacks, we don't really want to punch anything really deep down into the black. So let's just make sure we're protecting our blacks there. Cool, right, we could put a tiny bit of clarity in as well. Looking good. Then just take any oddities out from the lens there, but that 7200 we're using today, um, it doesn't really distort, so we're all good. Cool, right, we've got a pretty clean bottle uh, that we can edit. 
So uh, first things first, let's cut the bottle out. So we're gonna grab our pen tool. Awesome, right, we have our bottle cut out and then we can make sure it's also vertical. Let's just drag in some guides. Yes, yeah, a little out, so control T for transform and then let's just drag it around so it feels a little bit squarer. Nice. New layer underneath, set it in white and fill it in. Now from here, I mean, that would probably do. Um, there's a few things we can do to make it feel a bit fresher and a, a bit better again. So uh, some quick fixes um, is one is the wacky level, a layer on there, and we're gonna just paint in white. So it's here. Um, feels like the glass has just picked up a little bit of yellow. paint some white down here and we'll set that as a colour. I'm actually thinking that purple of the bottle could maybe be a little bit more punchy as well. So let's go back into the raw file. Now it's worth having your raw set up to create a smart, fo a smart filter. Um, it means you can go back in and make changes which is super handy. Down to the colour mixer. And then let's clean up some of these uh, details. So as you zoom in, uh, we've got these bubbles and things, a bit of condensation in here inside the bottle. We'll maybe clean this up a little bit. So let's grab a new layer and the clone. And then let's Alt click to choose where our set detection comes from. Let's paint that out. Uh, try to paint it back in again in the process. That would be really nice. We're not going to take out every single detail here, but it's just nice to remove some of the more obvious blips. just to smooth it out a little bit. Great, now it'd be nice to, uh, it'd be nice to make the, the whites on this label pop a bit more as well. So let's take a selection, just that section there, shift, copy up to the top and paste it in. And then let's just see if we can set a blend mode that gives us a bit more punch. Come down through, lighten's quite nice. Screen's too much. Color dodge might be nice just as a little. Yeah, I think color dodge could be nice. Let's just zoom out. Without it, bring it in, very nice. And then we'll just mask back out. I'm actually wondering if, let's just try some, let's just take the, let's take everything. Let's if we color dodge the whole thing on this one. And this one, I quite like the, the look we're getting, even though it's a little bit harsh, maybe on the, the top section there. So how about we take that and push it right back. So just a hint on the top of the bottle. And then let's grab our label booster. And pull that one back. There you go, about 12. So without, and let's add a little boost, nice.
And let's just make up a quick mask to remove that from the top of the, the bottle. Push that out. And there we go. So then let's boost up this logo here. So let's grab a new level. Small brush, a little bit of white. So without and with. It's a little bit of a pop. Just draw attention to that branding. I think it's starting to look pretty good. The rush try is just hit Control Alt, copy and paste. Sometimes it doesn't hurt just to have a quick look to see if a little soft light or an overlay may just give a, a little contrast boost. Quite nice. Cool, now normally uh, I do all the cleanup at the start, but I'm recording this video and I completely forgot we did the cloning first bit, forgot to clean up the label. So let's just go back and do that now. So let's zoom in. And there are sections like these little dots here. Um, we can just get a uh, spot. Get the healing brush, and then we'll just paint. Paint those out. Let's work around the label. We'll just clean up each little spot. So, so for a lot of these kind of projects, um, I may go even further with the clearing up and the tidying and stuff, but I think for now, this is looking super good. I'm really happy with this. Um, obviously, we may want to composite this later on into something else. So I don't want to go too heavy on the shadows and the highlights and those kind of tweaks and make it look too graphical um, because that just make it harder to paste into something later. But for like Amazon, for e-commerce, um, for providing to supermarkets, all that sort of thing, I think this is a super good image. Um, who doesn't want to buy a bottle of gin that looks like that? Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, click like. And if you want to see more of this kind of content, hit subscribe. Now in the next few weeks then I'll do some more kind of videos around some photography, some video making, maybe touch on the tools, how to make your own little black flag cards for tabletop photography, that sort of thing. Anyway, in turn, have an awesome week and I'll catch you later. See ya!